Hello, my name is Armin Kraus from Avantgarde Acoustic and today I'm going to show you in which easy way it is possible to make an audio holography of your room to make sure that the speaker and the room interact perfectly with each other. And for that we have developed a measuring kit and let's have a look at the case. It comes with a printed guideline, with a CD and a USB stick with the measuring tones. It comes with a microphone stand with a boom and we have a digital recorder and a calibrated microphone to take the actual measurement recordings together with the manual of the digital recorder. So let's have a look at the mechanical setup of the measuring equipment. We use the microphone stand, put up foot, put up the boom, then I attach the calibrated microphone which has its clamp already on by screwing it onto the boom like this. Then on input number one I plug the digital recorder and now I can already make sure that I'm in the correct measuring height which is usually between one meter and one meter ten. So I here go for one meter measuring height. There we are. So let's continue with the preparations for the actual recording. The recorder is already on and the microphone is in the sweet spot, means practically in the position of the head of the listener. And uh, I have switched on the recorder here on the side with this sliding switch. And then we can see here on the display that we have stereo recording mode and that input number one and two, but we only make mono recordings, is already pre-selected by the factory and activated. If not, press one of the two and it will automatically activate. Next step is the calibration of the perfect recording level. And as we use in this system a CD player, I have already put in the CD and we go to track number seven, which is a white noise signal. Then I press the record button of the recorder one time so that it starts blinking slowly. And this means we are in standby record mode. There's no actual recording. It's just to assess the recording volume, which you can see here in the display with my voice already. So now I start the CD. The volume we need to achieve is minus 12 decibels here on the display. So I turn up the volume with the preamplifier of the system until we reach that point. There we are. So now we can start with recording the actual six measurement signals. The recorder is already on and in standby record mode and we can now start the actual recording by pressing the play pause button once. The LED of the record button will be permanently red and the counter is already starting. And now I will step back by one meter and start recording number one of the CD and you will hear one marker tone and then two sweep tones, one for the left channel, one for the right channel for the calibration tones. We can now go on to position number two. And for that I will press pause play again so that the record LED starts flashing again. So now we have finished the recording for the sweet spot and in exactly the same way we can now record the sweep tones for position number two, one meter to the left, position number three, one meter to the right, position number four, one meter in front of the sweet spot, position number five, one meter behind the sweet spot 
and position number six, one meter above the sweet spot. In between, you can always push the pause play button to start the recording before you start with the according sweep tone and to pause it before you set up the microphone in the new position. So now we have two additional tips. Number one, we have space here. So the listening spot is in the middle of the room. What would happen if the listening spot was up against a wall and you could not go back by one meter with the measuring microphone? In this case, we recommend to set up the microphone directly against the wall with the microphone tip pointing upwards slightly like this. And this will take into account for the measuring that you are completely directly against a wall. And secondly, for the measuring of the overhead, one meter overhead position, if you put up the microphone stand like I do here by tilting it up some 20 centimeters roundabout from the original position and then open this clamp screw here and move the rest of the stand completely up and this is 80 centimeters you have added 80 plus 20 centimeters one meter and as you can see the microphone tip does not need to point exactly to the speakers it is omnidirectional so even in a position like this, the measurement will be correct. After the recordings are all taken, you can stop the recording by pressing the stop button here. Then switch off the device completely by the slider again. It will wish you goodbye. All recordings have, me, have been taken onto an SD card, which is accessible here with, behind this little door. Take it out, put it to your computer and download them to your hard drive. And then you can go to the upload page, which is mentioned in our printed guideline, which lets you upload the files and additional information. You will see this, it is, there is a guideline on the website. So we can process the files for you and create the correction curves.